And so I just grabbed a couple of his clients and said, hey, will you do this research with me? And they said, sure. So I interviewed an elder, a young kid. I think he was about 15 or 16. And then another adult. And just to see some of their journeys getting to the barbershop space was just mind-blowing. All the buses. We had one, um, the elder, who caught like three buses and walked a quarter of a mile to get to the barbershop. Old man Johnny. Old man Johnny. Shout out to old man Johnny. (laughs) (laughs) Still comes to the barbershop. He was just at the barbershop the other day. I'll tell you a funny story (laughs) because I think the misconception is um, that barbers don't really make a lot of money or or don't that um, maybe they're not capable of or have the ability to make a lot of money. Um, But it's it's such a, um, you know, you can have barbers that are making six six figures, you know, um, depending on the type of clientele or the type of services that 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 you cut. And so I I can remember when uh, Vanessa and I first met. <laughs> when we first met, um, I guess she was telling some some of her girlfriends about me, and so they were like, "Well, what you know that question?" Because sh- I think that should always be a question, like, like "What does someone do?" You know. And so like, "Well, what is, does you know what does money? he do? <laughs> what does he do?" In and, other uh, words. And, 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 Right, that's right. Because in his role as a barber, he is also supporting people who are in crisis and celebrating milestones. And really, you're like a counselor almost. Like, it's it's really... Barber coach. Yeah. Right. It's like, yeah, a, it's, it's like it. really like you're there for people's darkest times, whether they're getting a haircut before a funeral or mm. the best day of their life mm, where they're, yeah. they're about to get a haircut before their wedding day. And so he just hears such a wide spectrum of stories. So one of the things that she does, <laughs> here comes she, in business. Keep it to the business. No, she said. No, she, no, she, she said. She. I don't know what it is, but if there's a mirror in the room, she's don't gonna look. Do that. She's really? gonna look. It doesn't matter if there's if if there's a really mirror. If she's walking by a mirror, she's gonna look. And I think it's just the cutest thing. It doesn't bother me. It's just one of those things. It's just it's funny because I don't, and I don't know. I should like look in the mirror more as a barber, <laughs> right? I should, you know. Some, some sometimes I just go. Um, I just make sure my clothes are good, good, and I go. But I don't know what that's about. I don't really ask her, but she she, she loves okay. the mirror. <laughs>